We'll start off with moodiness and irritability, followed by er times of when they're completely friendly, warm, and uh, loving. Uh, so the moodiness is, is a giveaway there. So when they're going through withdrawal, they feel uncomfortable and irritable. Yet when they take their drug of choice, suddenly they become uh, more relaxed, comfortable, uh, euphoric, meaning that they're uh, just a sense of general sense of well-being and wellness. So that fluctuation there is an indicator. Another indicator is uh, the sound of the voice. Um, there tends to be a hoarse voice, a laziness with speaking. Uh, the actual sound of the voice uh, is a dead giveaway to those who, who know this sound. Um, but there, something happens that the drug impairs something to do with our larynx and our ability to speak. And uh, I can recognize people even on television I, who've been using opioids. Uh, once it takes one to know one. Uh, other indications are uh, small pupils with opioids. So uh, tiny pupils. It's a dead giveaway. Um, I'm dark-eyed, and so it wasn't so easy for people to pick up on it, but uh, if someone had shone a flashlight or had me look into the lights, then they probably would have seen a small pupil, uh, exceptionally small pupils. Uh, when a person's going through withdrawal, it's the opposite. Uh, their pupils tend to dilate. Uh, other drugs, though, um, it, it depends. Again, like LSD is a great example of where the pupils dilate when they're actively using, uh, not because they're withdrawing. Um, other ways of recognizing if somebody's an opioid user, um, over long term they can lose weight. Uh, so looking back at photos, you could, it's a lot more obvious. Sometimes when it's day to day, we just can't see it in our loved one. But the weight loss, in my case, I lost at least 40 pounds. I was very gaunt, uh, emaciated, thin-faced, uh, acne was bad. Uh, so that was another giveaway as well. We've helped over a million Americans completely recover from substance abuse. Call now at 1-800-615-1067. Call now.